Lisa High, and I am here with Allison Davis at Wild Time Cooking. And we, I'm number one, I'm so excited to be here with you, Allison. It smells good already, it right? It smells fantastic. <laughs> I walked in here and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm starving. So this is fantastic. So what are we going to be cooking today? Well, I even wore my shirt because we're working with bacon today. So <laughs> I love bacon, and everything's better with bacon. But of this course. whole week, I am doing dishes that are just simple shortcuts in the kitchen. Awesome. And this one is uh, more focused in on some southern side dishes. Mm -hmm. And a couple of weeks ago, I had some guests in from Oregon, and they just wanted to learn some southern dishes and some things that were native here to Kentucky. So I am doing just some fried corn with bacon and onions and then some Yum. greens. It smells so incredible. Anything with bacon, I'm just like, I, I, it's a go for me. I'm and you. you know what? You've been flipping the corn around and you have a little piece of <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. What she did they say? A good chef's and not necessarily a clean one in the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. So what do you need me to do? All right. So right now, the first thing I'm doing, and this is going to be for both dishes, you start with your bacon. Okay. And you just start kind of rendering the fat and browning your bacon because you want it to be crispy in the dish because okay. that's going to give it a nice like texture. Mm -hmm. So in this one, I just have the bacon and in this one I have gone ahead and added a little garlic Yum. and onion and we're just sauteing those on a medium high heat just to kind of crisp those up. So okay. you want to kind of keep moving that. All right. So with the onions and the garlic I am going to add the uh, corn to it okay. and I take fresh corn on the cob and just cut it straight off the cob and then that's going to go in and start sauteing in with the onion. And, and I just keep stirring. I just yeah, come in with that. Yeah, all, the longer, all the juices, all the fat kind of mixes exactly. in. Exactly. There's oh, no draining gosh. the fat. And I get this um, local bacon from the co-op. Mm -hmm. And I also came across these local greens. So we're starting to get into that season yes. where you get fresh greens. Mm -hmm. There's asparagus. There's chard. There's kale, uh -huh. lettuce. A lot of that's going to start coming in. So I think I picked this one up. And this one's from Frankfurt. Um, and this is Swiss chard, and it is one of my favorites. It it's, looks fantastic. It's kind of a little bit uh, pungent like your spinach, but okay. it sautés so well, and it just has this rich flavor. So I typically will de-stem it. I'll take it off the stalk. Okay. And then we're just going to start adding that right in. I've already got some that I ripped. And we're going to wilt the greens a little bit in the bacon fat. With right. The it looks all fluffy bacon. right now, but that's all going to simmer exactly. right down. Exactly. It's it? going to break down a little bit for you. So that's just going to saute a little bit and wilt. Corn's looking good. So again, with this, we have bacon, we uh -huh. have onions, we have a little garlic, and I'm just going to season it with salt and pepper. Yum. And so that's just such a quick, easy southern side dish that you can have all summer long. And already we're seeing some fresh corn, not necessarily from Kentucky because mm -hmm. we're not quite in that season, but right. we are seeing some from Georgia and from southern states that are, you know, fresh grown and just mm -hmm. shipped here. So I say that's somewhat local. Right. 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 So on the greens, um, just going to let those kind of wilt a little more. And now with the greens, can you use something other than chard? what you have in? Yeah, you could do kale. Can you, you can do, do cabbage. Okay. You can do um, just in case they have, in case someone has a, a yeah. issue finding it or you know having seeing it at the store, they exactly. might see something else that could be substituted. You for can it. do even like collard greens, but some of those other greens I like to soak and kind of break down a little bit. Yeah. Chard is not as um, Tough. tough. Yeah. So it's the perfect green for sauteing and gotcha. just getting it nice and quick. Already you can see how that's like wilting down. Mm -hmm. With the greens, what I like to do, you let them wilt first before you add salt because okay. greens really absorb the salt. So don't season them that. in the beginning. Okay. Season them at the end. Just a little bit of salt, some pepper, and then the key is a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Okay. So a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of acidity in there is just the perfect match. I and would have never it. suspected that. I that's would have never it. thought of that. Yeah. So oh. you have two classic so southern side dishes that honestly are still really healthy, and we've used that local bacon Amazing. and colorful and done in a matter of five minutes. That's great. Yeah. I mean, honestly, and I'm always looking for ways to kind of spruce up my corner and my side dishes or even, now do you consider this a side dish or a main dish? Um, well, it depends. Sometimes you might be doing a meatless Monday or going yeah. totally vegetarian and you could just make a meal on this alone. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. 
Well, wonderful. It just smells fantastic. And, um, and then you just put it in the serving bowl and yeah, it's Yeah, we're going to plate it up and uh, we'll show them here in just a minute. Wow. Well, thank you very much. We yeah. appreciate it. And for this recipe and other great recipes too, go to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. You got and we'll it. be right back right after this.